In this video, we're going to prepare our front end code. Now, what we see is mostly back end code here. And you would think, well, I could put my front end code under the views. And you can, but in my opinion, it's nice to just have your own folder in here called public. So I'm going to create a new folder called public. This is my way of doing it, and I've seen a couple other people do it this way. It's not exactly the perfect way, but if you decide to change it, you can. So new folder, and we're always going to have images, so I like to make an IMG folder. We'll have a JS, so that's a JavaScript folder. And we always have a new folder for CSS. And those are common things. So what we're going to do first is in JavaScript, create a new uh, JavaScript file. And I'm going to call this jQuery. I don't like to attach the version number on it because it's in the code when you get it minified anyways. And let's go to jQuery.com. And you just got to download this bad boy. And I always get the compressed one. Compressed for production. I'll just select all this. Copy. Select all and paste. And just for safety, make sure your string ends with this window right there. Because uh, sometimes you can copy something and it doesn't copy at all. Maybe if you were low on memory or something. So I'll go ahead and save that. Our next thing we'll do is get Twitter Bootstrap. Close that guy out. And just twitter.github.com slash bootstrap. Or you could just look for Google for Twitter Bootstrap. And I'll download Bootstrap. So I'll go ahead and open the zip file. And we're only going to get stuff we need. Um, so I'll open up my Explorer and go to my Junior Dash public. And let's see what we got inside Bootstrap. Well, they arranged the folders exactly like we did. So JS, CSS, OK. So I can just take all these and copy them in here. And I suppose it worked. OK. OK. And I'll close that guy out. So just make sure we have everything. OK. Next, what we're going to do is make a view to include our goodies that we want. And this view will generally be used in every page, kind of like an in include. So in the application, go to Views. And I'm going to create a new folder under Views. I'm going to call it Ink. That's short for Include. And I'll create a new PHP file. And I'll call this Header View. And that is PHP. Okay. Um, one thing to note is that you're not required to put the underscore View here. I do it because I found that if I have a controller name View and a View name View, up in this top bar with multiple files open, it's hard to differentiate what's what. Uh, we're going to write a doc type, HTML, and that's the HTML5 doc type. And we'll start with HTML. Lang is EN for English. Uh, if you're not English, you can use any language you like. And we'll have our head. And we'll have our body. And I realize this is the header. We'll uh, separate this into a footer as well shortly. And I'll just throw in a title tag and call it test. And let's include the files we need. Um, the first one is going to be bootstrap min CSS. So I'll say link um, href equals base URI and this is built into code igniter we might actually have to load our URLs but we'll get to that later basically this is just getting the lowest path and then we would just type public slash CSS slash bootstrap min CSS um, I forgot to add in rel equals style sheet there. Okay. Um, what we're also going to do is make a style.css. So new 
um, CSS file and call it just style. And what we're going to do with style is it's going to override bootstrap settings if we choose to customize it. And we always include that after bootstrap. So let me close this. This is part of NetBeans. It's a style helper. Um, I don't particularly use it, but it is pretty nice. And I'll just put a comment in here. This will be kind of like our custom stuff. And in NetBeans, I can just hold Control Shift and press down. Oops, I pressed up and down. And it'll duplicate the line. So we'll just change this to style.css. Next, let's include our JavaScript. So script src equals base URI public JS bootstrap.js and JavaScript tags are not self-closing unfortunately. Um, I'll duplicate that line once more and I'm going to include jQuery right above it like that. Okay and then I'm also going to create a footer and that's where we'll copy this guy here cut new PHP file I'll call this footer view and just so that it feels more like a footer sometimes I like to add the tags in there even though we're not ready for them yet and I'll just say and copy 2000 whoops date y and if you're wondering what this question equals is in if you're not sure it's just basically a shorthand for saying PHP echo it's a lot easier to do it this way okay and for the header let's also add in a header even though it might not really do anything for the time being we'll just call this junior dash may as well change the title as well okay so this will keep us uh, this will set us good for now, and this will wrap up kind of the setup for uh, Bootstrap and jQuery.